Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Tech Tejendra and we are now at our chapter 6 of Red Hat OpenShift Administration Tutorial. In this chapter we will discuss about the security, how we can apply, how we can configure application security into the OpenShift cluster. Okay, for that we will understand what is secrets, how we can create secrets, modify secrets, can apply these secrets into our applications, into our projects, into our namespace. And then we will understand secret as a file in the pod. Okay, we can also configure these secrets as a file inside the pod. We will understand the config map, configurations map, and then in the last we will do the lab for managing sensitive information with open secret secrets. So what we will do here, we will in the lab we will create a MySQL server inside a pod, and then uh, uh, as a secret we will set up the user credential username and the password there as the secret okay so let me go ahead okay so secret okay so any sensitive information in your application in your pod could be the secret and these secrets you can uh, share in within your namespace okay it means within your uh, whatever application you are having in your project or the namespace you can share secrets between them okay secrets could be any it could be the password it could be the sensitive configurations files right so as i told you secrets can also be saved as a file inside the pod okay and the credential for external resources such as sc ssh key or the or tokens same way the tls okay the tls key and password we can also save as a secret and for saving the secrets as a file inside the pod right so in the volume you can set right you will first create the secret uh, in the lab i will show you how to create a secret one secret is already there right so as a volume you can set okay in uh, our previous uh, um, lab we said how we can set the volume okay and so okay same way uh, we will set the volume but here the type would be secret and again the amount pause we have to um, apply here right so whatever part we are having at that path the amount part uh, in the pod itself okay it will create generate all these secret files there okay and uh, then configuration map uh, config map uh, configuration map is uh, uh, very much simpler as the secret okay these are also the uh, key value pair kind of things okay uh, like secret only difference is uh, secret is uh, stored very uh, securely and this is the uh, secure information config map can be any configurations things uh, property files of your application which it will be used okay so these things can be used as a secret uh, sorry config map so both secrets and uh, uh, configuration map once we will uh, set these into the pod or into the application will apply them into the application so whenever a new pod um, will be created by the cluster the secrets and config map will be act like a environment variable inside that pod okay so as an environment variable these secrets and config map will be available to use by your application inside that pod okay so that is the whole idea about this and only difference is secrets are the um, uh, very securely saved okay uh, into the cluster and config map is the configuration information and not being securely safe okay so let me go ahead into the our lab okay what we will do in this lab we will create a mysql server and then we will set the uh, create the secret and we'll set this secret into the pod okay and then we will see as well okay so uh, for it okay we will create a new project for it first so let me go into our cluster environment uh, for it, we have to be logged in as the developer because in this we will just create the secrets and create the new application. So for that, only developer is enough, okay, to do that. So if I show you, I have already logged in as the developer. So if I check, okay, so I am logged in as a developer. Let me I quickly create a project here, okay, and project name would be authorization secrets. So our project has been created. Okay, now let me create the secret first. Okay, and for it, command is that, and I will explain you the command as well. So here, what we are doing, we are creating the secret. OC create secret. 
and the secret type would be the generic okay creating method would be the generic and my secret name would be mysql okay because we are creating the secret for the mysql server mysql database and then we are creating this uh, uh, them there might be the different ways to create this secret right so we are we, we we may create these secrets from the file we may create these secrets from the literal right so here we are using uh, from literal okay and here only we are setting up this key and value pair of the secret okay so user would be key and username would be my user then again another secret would be password okay and the password value would be red hat one two three and then we are create, uh, setting up another key as database that and will use the test uh, secrets, okay? And then host name would be MySQL, okay? So let me create this secret. And if we give command OC get secrets, Okay, then here we can see our uh, secret has been created here. Okay, this is our secret MISQL and we just created 15 seconds back, right? So, okay, so let me go ahead. We have created a secret. Let's quickly create our uh, new application and that application would be our MySQL server. Okay, let me create it here. Okay, so via the OC new app command. And application name would be MySQL and it will be created by a image. Okay, so yeah, an image registry would be the this and REHL and uh, this is the image name and the tag. Okay, so let me create it. So image is created. Let me check whether this uh, image and application is running fine or not. Okay, ideally this application would not run correctly because uh, while we will create the mysql server it is it will expect the username and the password field while the creating the application okay so while we create this application we did not provide this thing okay so if we check oc get ports command okay we can see the status is uh, crash loop back off means our application is not running Cluster is trying to uh, building the application, but uh, uh, due to some errors, that application is not building. Okay, if we do that again, after some time, this crash loop back off, it will convert it into the error. So, number of times uh, cluster will start, will try to start the application, but um, uh, and uh, right, you can see restarts when we start to here, right? So, multiple times it will try, and once in every time it if, if it is in failing, then it will show the error, right? So, let's try it again. Still, you can see, right? Restarts three, three restarts, it's already happened. So, let me let me check the log first. So, oh, see log that what is happening in behind, okay, and the pod ID. Okay, so here in the log, we can say that it is uh, looking uh, for this password. Okay, it means uh, this, um, uh, right, you must either specify the following environment variable, right? So it is expecting these environment variable, right? And I told you that uh, um, uh, my SQL is expecting these, so okay. So we have to provide this information, MySQL pass user, MySQL password and database name, right? So in form of secret, we can provide this information to the pod, okay? We have already created the secret. Let me uh, apply the secret and provide the secret and attach the secret to this application, okay? How we can do it? We can do it via the set command, okay? Let me just copy this command and then I will explain you. Okay, so what we are doing here, we are uh, OC set environment, okay? And uh, then um, uh, where we are setting this environment in the MySQL deployment application, okay? And from where, from secret we are getting it, okay? Secret name is the MySQL and hyphen hyphen prefix, it is the important thing, right? So uh, whatever value keys we are having in my secret there, 
okay and while it will uh, uh, create the environment for my deployment my sql deployment what it will do in every key it will prefix with the my sql right here you can see it is expecting right if you will see the log it is expecting my sql underscore user okay but while we create the secrets we uh, create the secret as user and as password and database okay so while we are providing here the prefix okay then what it will do it will prefix the my sql before it will set as the environment with variable inside the pod okay so let me execute this command and uh, deployment has been updated okay so let's check whether our application is up and running now right so let me again check the ports and now here you can see our mysql server is up and running okay so if we do the ssh okay uh, inside this uh, so let me do oc oc rss let me go inside our uh, mysql server and see whether our mysql server is running uh, fine or not okay so let me go inside the right we are now inside our uh, pod okay and let here try to access the pod okay so command would be my sql and uh, uh, iphone u is the user and user would be um, my user let me see what is the, um okay it was the my user okay not hyphen was not there okay, and then let me give hyphen p as well okay and password we set was the red hat uh red hat one two three red hat one two three Okay, so we are logged in into the MySQL pod correctly, and let me see our databases. Right, so we can see the test secret database is already created. Okay, so our pod is uh, correctly created, and it is running fine now. So let me come out from it. And come out from the RSS. Okay, so I hope you have now uh, have uh, uh, understood the concept of secrets. Okay, and uh, um, the config map. both are same. Okay, uh, both will uh, inserted as the environment variable into the pod. Okay, so thanks for this tutorial.